Zulu Shabazz, something like, I, I, <laughs> yeah. I, I can't remember. Malik you know, Zulu but, Shabazz, <laughs> yes. But, I think, uh, but, uh, but what this guy was uh, saying is that, you know, uh, because of the, the rise of uh, racism for all of these white people attending these uh, tea party rallies, tea party, and right. because these uh, white racists are buying more guns, uh, we need to prepare ourselves uh, 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 for a race war. I mean, can we... <laughs> That's insane. Uh, you, uh, uh, and then you have to say, so where does he and the Black Panther, oh, yeah, and this uh, event was sponsored by the new Black Panther Party. Uh, they had a national black power con uh, convention in Atlanta uh, two weeks ago. And so where did they get this notion that the Tea Party rallies, uh, you know, are a bunch of uh, white racists with guns? They got yes. that from the Obama administration, and uh, and they got it uh, from his shameless, calculus media minions uh, who will say and do anything, regardless of the consequences, to further his socialist agenda. Now, you know, this new Black Panther Party are the same party that during the election had their billy clubs and said, you know, if you're white, get the hell out of here. And uh, I, uh, I, Attorney General Holder said, oh, it's okay. Uh, we're not going to do anything about that. Yeah, see, uh, this nonsense um, has to stop. If I can tell white patriots one thing, is I don't be taken back uh, uh, by this racist thing. You know, uh, the worst thing that you can do is call a decent person uh, a racist, and they will say, like, oh, my gosh, take my car, take my home, you know, I, I'll stop stop talking, just don't call me a uh, racist. And the Obama administration and the media knows this, and so they will keep uh, using this tactic to mm -hmm. shut you up. Uh, uh, I feel like that uh, we are a part of a secret society. Mm -hmm. I, I was wearing my uh, nine... 12 uh, shirt the other day uh, in one of the uh, box stores, and the person checking me, uh, me out said, Sir, I like that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, uh, uh, we have uh, to be shy about saying that we are against uh, this administration. Like, it's absurd. Uh, I went to a fast food restaurant, and there was a writer. Seniors are having lunch, and I heard them talking uh, about Obama and the things that they disagree with. When they saw me, a black guy, sitting at the table beside them, they got quiet uh -huh. uh, because uh, because uh, you cannot talk about uh, this president or you're a racist. Of course, uh, they didn't notice my uh, Tea Party Express T-shirt. <laughs> well, you know, and you you've attended over over 200 Tea Party events, Lloyd, and you have not seen this. Now, just recently, uh, I guess some uh, white father uh, holding his son uh, got punched. Uh, I know the guy's name is Governor, his first name. I can't think of his last name. And uh, he just turned out to be black, the guy that uh, attacked him and uh, because he was uh, uh, protesting or, or at a rally for some Tea Party. But uh, just shows you... It's both sides. But the thing is, is that Obama, as you say in your article, and the liberal mainstream media continue to sell this big fat lie, America is racist campaign. This is pure evil. And I'm going to tell you, we're going to take a break and we come back just to show you that they continue with this racist theme when we talk about SB 1070, Arizona. It won't go away. Hey, we're going to be right back with Lloyd Marcus. Don't go away. the last time someone offered you a second chance to save thousands of dollars. 